Hello students, welcome to this class. In today's video, I will be talking to you about this verb mood, the imperative mood. This mood tells you that you are expressing a command towards a subject, all right? As you can see, I have four examples here written on the board. The first one says, bring the application form right away. That is a command. So you can see that it is the imperative mood. The next one says, come here, please. And even though we are using please, it is still a command. Come here, please, right? The next one says, do your homework, a command again. So it is the imperative mood. And the last one says, get me a soda. It is another command, so you know that it is the imperative mood. If I were to say, um, I would like somebody to bring the application form, then that would be the um, subjunctive mood, not the imperative mood. But we will talk about this other mood in, uh, I don't know, in the next video, all right? But for now, we are going to focus on this particular mood. Imperative moods expresses commands, all right? So do not forget that every command that you see will have to be using the imperative mood. Now, please help me decide we, which of these is in the imperative verb mood, all right? The first one says, she will come today. Is this a command? She will come today? No, it is not. It is a fact. So, this is not correct. The second one says, Michael, drive faster, please. Is that, is that a command? Yes, it is. It is a command. So it is in the imperative verb mood. The next one says, I wish I were a musician. I wish I were a musician. Is that a command? No. So it is not the imperative mood. And the last one says, Jonas, bring them to me. Is that the imperative mood? Yes, it is because it is a command. Next, I will leave you some homework because remember that you need to practice as much as you can so that you can improve your English. Thank you for watching. Now, for homework, you are going to write four sentences using the imperative mood. All right, or you are going to write four sentences using commands. Remember to do your homework in the comment section below this video along with any comment, suggestion, or question that you may have. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Would you like to watch my next video? Click on the television to the right. The subjunctive verb mood. Um, as you can see I have a fact for you here.